He says when we were in Afghanistan, we were living in Kandahar and Taliban, they won't uh, let us to study. How long was your journey until now? One and a half months. One and a half months, okay. So what was the most horrible thing on your journey? از رای رومی ها که می آمده این بیر کست ها تو بوده از ایش از سرشیوی بوده حتی ما ملاق زده ملاق زده پای موگاه شد دگه ما اوجه دو ساعت از تسلن بیشی ما زوف کردن دگه یک ساعت از دالت زوفتی ها برای ما در بدترین خاطرین زندگی می دونیم اونجا بوده هی سیز موست خوریبل تینگ باز یو نا دیر از سیتی ارومی ها دیر کوینگ دیر کراسنگ در ایران بارده تو ترکی فرم دیر There are high mountains there, <coughs> and he was injured there. And he, he says uh, it was really hard for him to cross the border. It was the horrible thing. He was injured his leg. Oh, okay. During the trip. Yeah, and now it is okay. All of us. All of us. Yeah, he's yeah? okay. Okay. So, uh, did you also come with a boat? 
بازی با کشتی هم آمدی؟ بله با کشتی آمدیم کشتی دیگه دی سال چیز بوده اصلا همی پاچه اخبارهای که ما را مثلا سوار کشتی میکنه یا اصلا در فکر انسان ایت نیستن فقط یا برزی ها پول ارزش داره کشتی ما چل نفر تا پینجا نفر بار زده بوده اما نوات چیست مرگ بوده مرگ از ما زندگی خدا قمار زدیم آمده Uh, yes, he says uh, the people who crossed us from the sea, they don't care about our lives. They said they also there were 50, 50 people in the boat, and uh, he say, he's saying that uh, that those people they just care about their money to take their money, and he says uh, we risk our lives to come here. <laughs> Is there something else that you want to tell us or the German people? Uh, We want German people and Sweden people to accept us and help us so we can, uh, he can, he can be a good man in uh, society and he could help other societies and his country. Because in his country he was not able to study. Okay, thank you very much. All the best for, your, for the rest of your journey. Please stay safe. Thanks. Thanks. Serbia border uh, in I think five hours. And then Serbian people treat us good, good people. <laughs> then we go to Croatia and now we are here. You had any trouble with the police in some Only countries? in Bulgaria. Only in Bulgaria. Only in Bulgaria. Okay. Not there. Okay. What they are doing in Bulgaria? The beat. They beat the people? They beat the people very badly. Very. And uh, treat us like animal, not a human. Okay, really? We didn't know what he treat us. Really? So bad? So bad. Okay. So we asked you if you want to uh, give us an interview. What? Interview? Yeah, no But uh, it's forbidden for us. But we uh, would like to tell your story. When we come to Bulgaria, and the police uh, shoot one uh, up and one down. When they shoot one person, he killed. Uh, yeah, he died. Where? In here. In Bulgaria? Yeah, in Bulgaria. One of my group person is dead. And then they are... It's what? It's dead? Dead, yeah. They shot him? Yeah, he shoot him. Yeah, he shoot him, he dead. 
Really? Yeah, really. Who shot, shot uh, them? The police. When, oh. I, when I looked that way, one shoot up, we, we put with hands like that. When uh, we shoot, we, we look this way, the, the, my friend is fell down. He, he, uh, uh, he dead. Uh, and Burghada police also they beat, they beat my friend uh, in here he worked I think worked in Bulgaria in Bulgaria yeah and how long and you are in uh, Kamban in jail uh, they are arresting me out of group they say you are one people inside and uh, we are all uh, what people have said before that you stayed in here when your number come you go and, and all of them let go just keep me in jail for the 13 days 13 days and just alone in one jail they all every day uh, come just give me one uh, bread for me no eating no just um, what's the last time you had warm food uh, in uh, bulgaria in Bulgaria, you had one food. Right. Oh, but they are not given. They are the so Bulgarian, so they are trying. They are, they are everybody when in the camp, they are all of, uh, have a problem in here. The Bulgarian police, when you see the problem, say, go, sit down. When, we, uh, when I sick, give me one tablet, you see, I have a problem, say, go, 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 go. The doctors, nobody helping in Bulgaria. Uh, front of the main train station in Salzburg, Austria. Uh, we have built up, uh, like we did yesterday as well in Serbia, but now here uh, a mobile charging station for uh, cell phones. Uh, many refugees uh, are stuck here. Uh, we talked with some of them. Uh, they are already here since yesterday. Uh, all accommodations are completely full and even more than full. So many people are uh, laying down on the ground in the main train station to try to get some sleep. Also families for children. Uh, the reason for this is because uh, the German government uh, reduced the number of refugees that they are letting in per day with about 50%. 50 they started uh, yesterday with this. So Salzburg is getting fuller and fuller and fuller and Germany only takes a certain amount. Um, just uh, about until in half an hour ago uh, people were uh, distributing water and some food here. But these people have gone now. Uh, we have uh, late in the evening. So we don't know uh, if somebody is coming later to provide something, but until now, not. Vicky, uh, you were part of the Kasafo Wuppertal convoy uh, to the Balkan route. Um, what surprised you the most? Well, um, we heard from other groups that were already on the Balkan route that uh, the Red Cross and other official NGOs were not helping the refugees as much as they could. But it was really interesting to see that in the bigger camps, uh, most uh, of the Red Cross groups were only there from 9 in the morning till 3 p.m. But most of the refugees came in the evening or even in the night. So there was no help for them at all from the officials. What was really shocking for me was uh, that some of the self-organized volunteers uh, said that the situation in the camp um, was real good. And there was even one person that said uh, that it was okay that a refugee was beaten up by a police officer because he left his zone. This was really shocking for me and uh, yeah, 
it was hard for me to handle this and to work with those people. You are speaking about the camp in Opatovac, right? Yeah. Okay. yeah. It was really interesting because we were also in a small camp in Gornia Radgona in Slovenia and there uh, the group from the Red Cross was uh, uh, organized by volunteers and it was interesting to see that there uh, was much more supply for refugees at all. One of the most uh, difficult parts was uh, how to support self-organization, how to act on one level with each other, refugees and other people. Um, in some camps it was impossible, like in Opatovac, in Croatia, uh, that's a state organized camp, but in Gornia Radgona in Slovenia that was a big problem as well. Um, we managed to, to um, do self-organized work and support self-organization of people um, at the motel at the highway near Sid where we build up a mobile charge, charging station for our cell phones. And we also could do that in Salzburg at the train station. But in the camps, that's really uh, a big problem. As uh, I started to make this film, I actually only wanted to show pictures from uh, the Balkan route and the work we did there. Um, I'm at the Canarians now at the Canary Islands on Tenerife, Boca Congrejo. Uh, last week, several refugees drowned and tried to cross uh, on the Atlantic. This water here, uh, coming from Morocco to the Canary Islands. So everywhere where you are in Europe, if you go to the outer border you are confronted with uh, EU border policies which already killed about 25,000 people. Um, I am able to come with a normal ferry or a plane here because I have this document. And for me, it's unbelievable that I am capable and privileged of traveling everywhere just because of this stupid little paper. Other people have to uh, go in the hands of the smugglers on small boats risking their lives because the EU, European Union and all their states, member states, governments are not allowing them to take a normal plane or a normal ferry, which is very, very disturbing and killing a lot of people and somehow I think there's not enough anger and, and, and protest inside the European Union against this policy. It's inhuman, it's killing people, and it has to stop. It has to stop now. Thank you.